Hello Seattle people! Welcome to Sydney. Welcome to my car. You might be wondering, who is this guy? Why is he filming a video in his car? Why does he look like he just stepped out of the shower and didn't even wait for his hair to dry before he made a video? Doesn't this guy know anything about being a proper professional author? I'm sorry. This is... It's kind of my fault, but kind of not. Um, I'm in my car because I've got to be somewhere in about five minutes. Also, it's like 7 a.m., so I just woke up and showered, and now here I am. And I should have made this video earlier, except I couldn't, because I was on my school camp with 150 year four and five girls. So that was not a good environment for making a video for you. But here I am, and you're getting my absolute best five minutes in the front seat of my car before I have to drive away. So let's do this. My name is Chris Morphew. I'm an author from Sydney, Australia, and that is where my car is parked right now. I wrote these books, The Phoenix Files, which you guys know about already because I came and talked to you about them a few years ago. But if you're new to the company, this is The Phoenix Files. You should sell these to lots of children and then that will be nice. Anyway, The Phoenix Files is a uh, series for older kids and teenagers about a hundred day countdown to the end of the world and lots of weird stuff happens. Um, I'm not being very articulate this morning, but you, you've probably got some copies lying around. You can read them if you want to know what they're about. Um, yeah, so I came and spoke to you guys about this series a few years ago. Um, and P.S. How good Seattle? Seattle, like, I, you know, I promise I don't say this about every city that I sit in a car with making a video at 7am. Um, but you guys are awesome. Like, you're... Seattle's like... The closest thing America has, I think, to Sydney or Melbourne. So it was like heaps comfortable. It felt like a home away from home. And even though you guys invented Starbucks, you know that Starbucks and real coffee are not the same thing. And, you know, you guys, I think, well, judging by the people I spoke to when I was there, I feel like you guys know that the popular vote was probably like a better marker than the Electoral College vote on on who should be president right now. But that's a... That's a conversation for another day. Right now, though, here is the Gateway series. It doesn't have my name on it, but I promise I helped write it. Here, look, let me find the photo in the front. The Gateway series is a series that I wrote with two other authors. Oh, here we are. Rowan McCauley in the hat and David Harding in the... Not, not the hat. And me in the middle. We wrote this series, um, and we had a bunch of fun writing it, so... This series about is the... I can't talk, it's early in the morning. This series is about two kids called Amelia and Charlie and the adventures they have in this old rundown hotel um, called the Gateway Hotel. And the Gateway Hotel, it turns out at the end, spoiler alert for the end of the first book, but the reason it's called the Gateway Hotel is because there is an alien gateway underneath it and every book out pops aliens from the alien gateway and there's a new mystery to solve and a new alien monster to defeat and etc and basically when i was designing this series i wanted it to include a whole bunch of the stuff that i really loved reading about as a kid so it's got mysteries it's got um humor hopefully i think they're funny um it's got aliens which I can't believe that I got like 18 books deep into my writing career without a single alien, but I'm rectifying it now. Um, and it's a little bit, so do you guys know like the faraway tree and Enid Blyton and all of that? It's got a bit of that like old school vibe. And then it's got like a bit of like Harry Potter, Doctor Who, weird sci-fi thing. And there's pictures. I can show you the pictures because they're so good. Craig Phillips, who does our pictures, is totally excellent. Um, oh, where's one with the alien? Yes! There is an alien and a half right there. Anyway, there are, this is just the first book in the series. There are uh, seven out now in Australia and eight coming. I think you guys have got the first four, and you're definitely going to release at least the first seven of eight. So I hope you've released the last one too, because it's kind of the ending. Um... Anyway, super excited that you guys are getting behind the books. Thank you for getting behind the Phoenix Files for all of these years already. Thank you for getting excited about The Gateway 2. I'm sorry that I'm filming this video with a massive steering wheel in the way and wet hair and everything like a lame -o. But I, I hope you understand. I love you guys. See you soon. Invite me back sometime.